Well, Governor Ron DeSantis just issued an update on how the state is preparing for Hurricane uh, Ian. Caleb Califano joins us live with the important information everyone needs to hear. Caleb. That's Ryan. The governor really saying the same exact thing. They're talking with the Florida Emergency Management as well, discussing just the sheer size of Hurricane Ian and how it could have far reaching impacts far away from where that eye will possibly land. And now just an hour ago, the governor did discuss that the Florida National Guard has activated 5000 guardsmen to help in affected areas, as well as receiving help from other states, including Tennessee, Georgia and North Carolina. The state has also activated multiple search and rescue teams as well as fish and wildlife. One of the big things the governor discussed is Ian's far reaching impact, as I just said, and that even outside the cone of certainty, everyone needs to be prepared for what the hurricane can bring. Even if the storm, the, the eye of the storm doesn't hit your region, you're going to have really significant winds. Uh, it's going to knock over trees. It's going to cause interruptions. And so that's just the name of the game. So just be prepared for that. Evacuation zones are also something the state wants everyone to be aware of. Evacuations are issued on the local level, so they want all Floridians to have multiple ways to receive those. You can find what zone you're in on floridadisaster.org slash plan prepare. The governor also announced that they're suspending multiple toll roads, mostly on the western side of the state, but also including Alligator Alley that, of course, goes into Broward County. But for now, we're live in West Palm Beach. Caleb Califano, WPBF 25 News.